this architect is a madman, but he's a very super sane madman. He built it in such way, the docity of him is such, if you pull down one column, the entire temple will come down. It's over thousand years ago, when there were no cranes, when there were no machines, when there were no trucks, when there were no any kind of mechanical things. They put a ramp of ten miles, a mud ramp, and they brought this single piece of stone, hundred and sixty feet high above, and made a gopuram out of it. Even in architecture, there is adventure, isn't it? You must see Ranakpur. Have you seen Ranakpur in Rajasthan? You must see. Ranakpur also has Kumbhalgar within twenty kilometers. It's the second largest wall on the planet. Most Indians know because we keep all the things that we should be proud of a secret. <laughs> the second largest wall on the planet, which if you look at it aerially, you would mistake this to be Great Wall of China. It's that big. But most Indians don't even know there is a wall like this, it's in Kumbhalgar. Close to that is Ranakpur. This architect is a madman, but he's a very super sane madman because he knows what he's doing. See, if you build a building, this is a temple with one thousand columns. If you're thinking about safety, what would you do? Just in case over a period of time if one column collapses, because those days the material is only stone, there is no steel and concrete and stuff. You would make sure if one column falls down, there will be a, another column which will keep the temple up. No, he built it in such way, the docity of him is such, if you pull down one column, the entire temple will come down. His pride in his intelligence and capability is such that he made it in such a way, if one column comes, the temple should not exist. And it's standing for over five hundred, six hundred years without an issue. You will see something like that in the yoga center. We built an elliptical dome. No steel, no concrete. And at the top, it's only eight inches thick. And just to freak people, I left a, a nine feet uh, diameter hole. People said, this is going to collapse. It will not collapse. And if you go to the ancient temples, you must come to the south because North India, most of the temples, the ancient temples are all gone. The new ones that they have built is all put up in a hurry. But if you come to the south and see, one amazing thing you will see is their sense of geometry. Unbelievable. How they arrived at this sense of geometry, thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, absolute geometric sense in their mind. You have seen Belur Halaybid? Have you? Karnataka temples? Oh, it's a must-see. It's just a must-see for any human being, especially those of you who are in architecture, art, whatever you are into. Some aesthetics you are into means this is something you must see. It's more than seeing those sculptures. You must look into the minds of people who did this. If you want to look into their minds, you must withdraw yourself into that time zone. It's over thousand years ago, when there were no cranes, when there were no machines, when there were no trucks, when there were no any kind of mechanical things, all by hand. Why would somebody endeavor to dump… do something so phenomenal and so almost superhuman in terms of engineering? And the physical difficulty of lifting these huge rocks and doing this carving business, why would anybody do that? What… what kind of passion should be firing those people?
to do this is unbelievable. If you see the Tanjavur temple, have you seen? This… Uh, this Gopuram weighs I think, what? 180 tons, huh? 180, is it? Does anybody know? I think somewhere in that range, over 120 tons for sure. And it is at a height of 160 feet. They put a ramp of ten miles, a mud ramp, and they brought this single piece of stone, 160 feet high above, and made a gopuram out of it, exquisitely carved. Well, in Karnataka, what they carved is soapstone. In Tamil Nadu, Tamil people are crazy. They carved granite <laughs> into very fine structures, which is far more difficult than carving soapstone. And they put it up there. What is it that's firing these human beings? Before you take up any project, you must visit this and see what kind of human beings are these, you know? Just for aesthetics, you understand? Not for livelihood, it's not a factory shed we are building, just for aesthetics. They were willing to invest their lives absolutely, everything they got. I think we need that culture back if we want to create a beautiful India, very important. <laughs>